1991 Dream Mile underway, and Ray Brown goes straight away to the front, and Eakin Billy goes with him, the two space makers. Right in the inside, Herald in the black and white of uh, Germany settles down extremely well. And uh, they've gone off very, very quickly indeed, perhaps a little bit too quickly. It's Eakin Billy in front looking back to make sure that uh, they're going with him. Brown in second place, Fulbrugger and Harold, the Germans together, and uh, Doyle and Elliott in sixth place at the moment. So as they settle down, coming round, Eakin Billy steadying the pace a little, and quite rightly so. Take a look at the lap times. When uh, Graham broke the world record, they went through the first lap. He went through the first lap in 57.4. Eakin Billy leads. You can ignore his time. It's the chasing group that's the important one, and that's very quick indeed. Brown in second place, Harold third. So, sorry, Fulbrugger third, Elliot four, Harold five, and in sixth place, Karachi. Seven is Doyle, eighth is Gonzalez. Well, that was Egan Billy going a little bit too fast there, but the main group were a few seconds behind him, and Peter Elliot poised on the shoulder of Fulbrugger and the pacemaker a few yards ahead, and Peter closes that gap and goes immediately behind the pacemaker. Well, I was talking with Peter earlier today, and he feels that tonight is his chance. He wants to run in style, and I think you'll find him chasing that pacemaker and then talk about a long run for home. If he's got the strength, he'll just take over from the pacemaker and try and run from about six or 700 metres from the finish. Many of us think he needs that long finish, and let's see if he's strong enough and good enough, because this is a class field behind him. But when you're good and when you're hot, then, you know, you can do whatever you want. The time will be of some significance. Now for the leader, Cram was at uh, 8.8G in 154.6. They're inside the world record race. Brown of America leads. Elliot Great Britain in second place. Karachi of Kenya third. Ron of Kenya fourth. In fifth place is Doyle of Australia. Sixth is Fulbrook. Seventh is Harold. In eighth place, Steve Scott at the moment. Gonzalez closing down the back straight for Spain. One and a half laps left, and Elliot has to hit the front. Well, he thought he might do this, he thought he might go from 600 metres, and now he's in the lead and he's stretching them. He needs to be confident, he needs to keep that confidence, and he just needs to apply the pressure. The pace has been tremendously fast. He looks strong enough, and now he's out there, he's to be shot at, but I think he's strong, and let's see if he's strong enough. Well, he's certainly going to be tested for pace judgment now. Elliot leads. Got to gradually accelerate. Karachi in second place, Doyle the Australian is third, Billy the world champion four, Spivey five, Harold six, Rono seven, Cacho Spain eight, Gonzalez nine, and Fulbrugger ten. Just over 300 left. And Elliot winding it up, the fastest in the world record at the moment, held by Steve Graham at 346.32. Still Elliot leading, 2.50 to go. Karachi second, Doyle is third, Billy four. Spivey 5, Harold 6, 200, less than 200, and still Elliot holds the lead and holds the curve. What has he got left now? Playing the waiting game in front, and he's stolen an extra metre. But Doyle is beginning to close now for Australia. Elliot's suffering slightly, so too is Karachi. And Elliot makes another break for home. Doyle coming up on the outside. They're all left gathering to attack. And Elliot is there to be shot at, but he's hanging off. Elliot striking for the line, and Elliot is going to win the Dream Mile. Elliot wins. Karachi second, a photograph for third between Spivey and Doyle. 349, 46. A magnificent piece of running by Peter Elliot. He played the waiting game in front. And he got it perfectly right. And this is a victory for courage as well, because when he was attacked, he was aware they were there, but he didn't give an inch. Drove himself for the line. Karachi second, where he had been for so long. And the third place between Spivey and Doyle, with Doyle almost giving up on the line. I think Spivey may well have got it for America. Yes, he did. With Harold in fifth place. Brendan. Well, he said he would take over from the pacemaker and he'd find out if he was strong enough. And look how hard he is. Look how hard he's battling. He's tiring badly in the finishing straight, but the rest of the field are destroyed by Peter Elliott. What a marvellous run there from Peter Elliott, and what a piece of bravery, what a piece of positive running. He said he wanted to do it in style. Well, there was no finer style to do it than to leave with 600 metres to go. And now Peter Elliott can reflect on the fact he's joined the great British athletes who've won this. Sebastian Coe in 1979, Steve Avett in 1881, 
Dave Moorcroft in 84. Steve Graham, 85, 86, 87 and 88. And now in 1991, Peter Elliott's name goes on the Dream Mile Roll of Honor.